Why do bad things happen to good people? Are you certain you require a justification? Do you actually want to know why the defenseless are harmed? I disagree. The query will serve you much more than the response. People's suffering that is unjustified bothers you. How you ought to be. Anybody with even the slightest moral sensibility is appalled by the inequalities in our world. The first Jew, Abraham, questioned God, should not the judge of the whole world act fairly? Why have you treated this people badly, Moses questioned. And we continue to ask, why God, why, until today? But what if we discovered the solution? What if someone showed up and provided us with a satisfactory explanation? What if the puzzle was finally unlocked? What if we genuinely received a response when we questioned, why? If the solution to this fundamental issue could be found, we would be able to accept the suffering of innocent people. That is also improbable. Even worse than innocent individual suffering is when other people stand by unaffected. And if we were to comprehend the causes of innocent suffering, that is precisely what would occur. Because we would know why it is occurring, we would no longer be disturbed by their cries and sense their suffering. Consider yourself in a medical facility when you hear a woman wailing in agony. Her family is gathered outside her chamber, chattering and grinning broadly. Your yells at them, what's the matter with you? Do you not hear the agony she is experiencing? They respond, the delivery ward is here. She is expecting a child. Naturally, we are content. When you have an explanation, pain doesn't seem so bad anymore. We can tolerate suffering when we know why it is happening. Answer, if we could make sense of innocent people suffering, if we could rationalize tragedy, then we could live with it we would be able to hear the cry of sweet children in pain and not be horrified. We would tolerate seeing broken hearts and shattered lives, for we would be able to neatly explain them away. Our question would be answered, and we could move on. But as long as the pain of innocence remains a burning question, we are bothered by its existence. And as long as we can't explain pain, we must alleviate it. If innocent people's suffering does not fit into our worldview, we must eradicate it. Rather than justifying their pain, we need to get rid of it. So keep asking the question, why do bad things happen to good people? But stop looking for answers. Start formulating a response. Take your righteous anger and turn it into a force for doing good. Redirect your frustration with injustice and unfairness and channel it into a drive to fight injustice and unfairness. Let your outrage propel you into action. When you see innocent people suffering, help them. Combat the pain in the world with goodness. Alleviate suffering wherever you can. We don't desire solutions, justifications, or a satisfying conclusion. We want the pain to end. And we dare not rely solely on God to end pain. He is watching for our actions. That is the reason we are here.